we are asked to find the equation of the tangent plane to the surface given by the function f of x comma y at the point four comma eight comma f of four comma eight. Let's first look at this graphically. The graph of the surface given by f of x comma y is graphed here in blue. This red point is the point of tangency and the yellow plane is the tangent plane. Our goal is to determine the equation of this yellow tangent plane. Going back to our work, let's begin by determining the z coordinate of the point of tangency given by the function value f of four comma eight. To determine the function value f of four comma eight, we substitute four for x and eight for y into the given function, which gives us two times e raised to the power of four squared minus two times eight. Simplifying, we have two times e raised to the power of, well, four squared is 16, and so is two times eight, and therefore we have e raised to the power of 16 minus 16, which is equal to e raised to the power of zero. e raised to the power of zero is equal to one, and therefore the function value f of four comma eight is equal to two, which means the point of tangency is the point four comma eight comma two. Now looking at the notes below, if f of x comma y is differentiable at a given point, then the equation of the tangent plane to the surface given by f of x comma y is given by this equation here. Notice how the equation of the tangent plane involves the first order partial derivatives. Let's begin by determining the partial derivative of f with respect to x and then with respect to y. To determine the partial of f with respect to x, we differentiate f of x comma y with respect to x treating y as a constant. To find this partial derivative, we will need to apply the chain rule. The derivative is equal to two times the derivative of e raised to the power of x squared minus two y with respect to x is equal to e raised to the power of x squared minus two y times the derivative of x squared minus two y with respect to x, which is equal to two x. Remember the derivative of negative two y with respect to x is zero because we are treating y as a constant. Simplifying here, two times two x is four x. We have four x times e raised to the power of x squared minus two y. And now let's find the partial of f with respect to y. To do this, we differentiate f with respect to y now treating x as a constant. This gives us two times the derivative of e raised to the power of x squared minus two y with respect to y is e raised to the power of x squared minus two y times the derivative of x squared minus two y with respect to y, which means the derivative of x squared with respect to y is zero because we treat x as a constant and the derivative of negative two y with respect to y is negative two. Simplifying here, we have negative four times e raised to the power of x squared minus two y. And now we need to evaluate these partial derivatives at the point four comma eight. So the partial of f with respect to x at four comma eight is equal to four times the x value of four times e raised to the power of four squared minus two times eight which is equal to 16 times e raised to the power of, again, the exponent here is 16 minus 16, which is zero. e to the zero is equal to one, and therefore the partial of f with respect to x at four comma eight is equal to 16. And now I'm going to evaluate the partial of f with respect to y at four comma eight. This is equal to negative four times e, again, raised to the power of four squared minus two times eight, Again, the exponent here is zero, giving us negative four times e to the zero, which is equal to negative four. We now have all the information we need in order to determine the equation of the tangent plane. We have z equals f of x sub one comma y sub one is f of four comma eight, which we already found, and then plus the partial of f with respect to x evaluated the point four comma eight, times the quantity x minus x sub one, which is x minus the x coordinate of the point of tangency, giving us x minus four, and then plus the partial of f with respect to y, evaluated at the point four comma eight, 
times the quantity y minus the y coordinate of the point of tangency, which gives us y minus eight. And now we will fill in the missing function values. We have z equals f of four comma eight, we already know is equal to two. And we have plus the partial of f with respect to x evaluated at four comma eight is equal to 16, giving us 16 times the quantity x minus four, plus the partial of f with respect to y evaluated at four comma eight is equal to negative four, giving us negative four times the quantity y minus eight. The next step is to clear the parentheses and combine like terms. Let's finish this on the next slide. We have z equals two plus, and now we distribute 16, 16 times x is 16x, giving us plus 16x. And then we have plus 16 times negative four, which is negative 64. Plus negative 64 is equivalent to minus 64. Plus distributing negative four, negative four times y is negative four y plus negative four y is equivalent to minus four y, and then negative four times negative eight is equal to positive 32, giving us plus 32. And the last step is to combine like terms. We have z equals 16x minus four y, and the constant term is two minus 64, which is negative 62, plus 32, which is equal to negative 30, giving us minus 30. The equation of the tangent plane at the given point is z equals 16x minus 4y minus 30. Going back to the graph one last time, we just found the equation of this yellow tangent plane to the blue surface, which is the point 4, 8, 2. I hope you found this helpful.